back outside under the carving tent today. I'm getting ready to work on a bear holding a welcome sign. I don't know, I think it's like gonna be about three feet tall or so. Figured I would uh, turn the camera on and, uh, well, just kind of show you guys how I do it. Don't mind too much of the mess in the background. Spring has finally arrived in upstate New York and I'm kind of working on getting my area here cleaned up, but figured I would show you guys some of the saws that I'm gonna be using today. These are this is just about all my saws that I use. I've got a couple still in the shop, but I don't think we'll need them today. Um, I've got my MS-250 here on the end. I've got an MS-193, and I've got two MS-170s. Both have dime tip bars on them. Um, really don't need two. One suffices to get the job done, but whatever. I had two 170s. I feel like they're really underpowered, and I like them for detailing saws more than anything. So, carving bars for each. Uh, what I'm going to be starting off with, though, on this carving is the 250. I'll be doing some of the blocking out, some of the bigger cuts with that, and then I'll move in, into the 193. Uh, the 193 will probably do most of the work. Um, I really like the way it handles. Probably have to stop, maybe fill it up once before uh, the bear's done. 193 has a small tank on it, but it gets the job done, and I really like it. Then we'll come through with 170s and do the fur and the detail work and that'll be the final step before using sanders and dremels and paint and all that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna get my safety gear on here. So, I know I got the camera on the log, you guys won't be able to see my face too well, but I didn't show you guys the first cut. And the first cut was sloping down just a little bit, you know, kind of like a wedge. Cutting like a thin triangle wedge, so it slopes down his snout. And now the next couple cuts were for the ears. Coming into the back of the ear, coming in like, I don't know, I mean this log's probably close to a 10 inch log, so I went in about, I don't know, close to two and a half, three inches. Went in. And as I came down, I brought the bar out so it sloped just a little, you know, it's sloping out away from the head. And I did the same in the front. And then on this side for the ear. And then as you guys noticed, I come to the back and I make an angle cut this way and this way. And what that does is it lops it out, so you can see the back of the ears. Come around to the front and do the same. As you guys can see, you've got this basic shape going here for the head. What I'm going to do next is come through and make two cuts here for the snout and get rid of these front corners. You know, I had another artist tell me once, you're basically cutting triangles. And I didn't understand what he meant at first until I started this, this new style of cutting, just kind of putting it together and, and working it for myself and figuring out different techniques. And then I started making some cuts and realized, you're so right. You're, you're basically cutting triangles, different size triangles. And you know, I mean, we cut a wedge and then we cut this triangular shape out. And the same thing here. Once you start making these cuts, that'll probably start to make a little more sense to you if it doesn't make sense now. So, um, right now, I'm gonna come in here in the front and we're gonna cut roughly within here. Not exactly on these lines, these are just, you guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm gonna be right here and then get the cheeks and where the eyes are, I'm gonna come in with the saw at an angle, and curve it down, and as you're cutting it curves down, and that's gonna take this piece out, revealing the front cheek, the eye area, and the side of the snout. Then you're gonna come over here and do your best to make those same cuts. So what I like to do is make this cut first, make this cut first, and then come in and do where the cheeks would be, and swoop down, make sure those cuts don't come down and swoop out. Um, and you'll come back through and you'll clean that stuff up after. So right now let's get this, uh, this snout here cut. All right, so as you guys can see, I've got those cuts done. Turn this guy a little for you. Kind of see the snout. Now these cuts here are kind of shaping the head and gonna be the neck. 
basically will angle these out at a good sloping motion. He's gonna be holding the sign here, so this will get sloped out and his hands will be down here and we'll kind of notch this whole area out under his head so that his head is sticking over the sign area. You know, where the sign's gonna be, it'll be like a little bit of a neck and his head's out. Um, let me think here. So, when you see me make this cut first, and then I come in and do this side cut, um, <clears throat> sometimes you overshoot it. I mean, it happens. But pay attention to your saw. I know I'm doing the video stuff in high speed, but that's why I'm coming back through and explaining it. So you make that first cut to the side of the snout, you know, each one. And when you come into the side, you can feel the saw um, reach the point of where you've already cut. So when you're, you're coming down with the saw here, and you're coming in, you know, when you're looking from the top, you can see where your line is, and you're meeting that. But as you go down, normally, this swoops out a little more this way. So that means your cut becomes more shallow and you're bringing the saw out. Um, boy, the wind's got to pick up on us today. So when that snout kicks out like that, that's when you tend to overcut. And then he's got a thinner snout. You know, I wanted a thicker one on this, but I made my cuts too quick. I got to slow down a little. But um, you will feel that line, though. That's why I work the saw very slow through here. And I can feel when it punches through to the cut I already made, just a little, and then I pull back. And then I come in, it punches through, I can feel it a little bit, and then I pull back. Meanwhile, you're keeping the saw at the same speed, so you're not throttling up and throttling down. If you let off on that throttle, if you throttle down, you've got a good chance of your chain grabbing and coming right back at you. So, you know, I keep it at like three quarters to almost full, you know, full power, and just rip right on down through but you're moving the slaw cut the the slaw <laughs> you're moving the saw kind of slowly that way there you can feel that mark where you're getting through to your line and you won't have as much you know I kind of cut through it today but those things happen sometimes you don't and what I mean is right here I'm coming this way you can cut into that snout and then you don't have a lot of room to play with um, it's also good to leave as much meat on as you can and then come back through and work you know work it away so with all that talking now I'm gonna go ahead and box out for where the lower jaw and the snout's gonna be and I'm also gonna angle here for the shoulders and start cutting into the back um, those tough cuts are just kind of getting your head square but now I've really got to start getting in here for the shape and so we're going to run this off a little bit longer in order to get those cuts done. dark lines here you guys can kind of see what I mean so that back shapes pretty much done look at the front here what I want to do is figure out you want to figure out how wide your sign is going to be this is what I'm going to use for my sign and I want the sign to be below the neck but you got to remember to leave enough wood up to hold it like his paws so I'll be cutting down and notching this piece out and rounding these shoulders forward for that. And then we'll be moving on to doing the claws and the paws. All right, so we've got the notch cut out. As I just showed, I'll show it again. Our sign fits in there. Um, the sign, real quick, in case you want to know how to do that, I just write welcome on it, and then I take my dime tip bar, take my time, make sure I'm wearing my steel toe boots, put it on the ground, and slowly follow my lines and cut it out. We'll go back through with the uh, saber tooth bits and clean it up real nice before I paint it with the airbrush.
Anyway, back to the bear. These are going to be the paws here in the front. <clears throat> this will come down, round it down a little bit, and we'll come up here for the shoulder. That's going to be on each side. And then we'll also get a notch in at an angle below those, and then one up. That'll be the belly. And it'll have short little legs, paws sticking out here on the bottom. And then it'll basically be just shaping it so it all matches. Um, just gonna go ahead and get that work done and then we'll get some close-up shots all right so real bummer thought I turned the camera on for those last few uh, <laughs> cuts I just did and apparently I did not I'm gonna spin this thing around and you guys can see where we're at all right so here just a uh, the bears roughed out Give you guys walk around so you can kind of see all the angles I got my paws ready for my sign to go in legs not much of a leg mostly feet and gut bring it up there's the ears in the back this is kind of angled in just a little not a lot i don't want to take too much away from the back because that supports them from falling over backwards so um what i'm going to be doing next though is pulling out the 193 and that's where i'll be making some cuts for the toes and claws we'll be making some more rounded shapes kind of cleaning it up be cleaning up the ears for the eyes and the snout and then it'll be time for the 170s to come through and do the detail work and do the fur hey real quick if you're watching this video for the first time or seeing anything by me be sure you guys hit subscribe um, make sure you like this video share it up add it to your list whatever you got to do much appreciate it let's keep going So that is pretty much it for the chainsaw work on this bear. Um, the only step that I like to do that I have left is I'm going to make a cut in the center here. I'm going to go in, oh, I don't know, a couple inches, two, three inches, and I'm going to cut from the top all the way down. Um, it's something that I like to do to help uh, when the, the log dries. You kind of hope that it'll prevent a big crack happening here in the front and that it'll separate from the back pulling the front forward instead of pulling from the back and splitting your bear's face in half. Now, as you guys can see, I've got the fur on there. Um, while I was doing this, I was thinking, man, maybe I should just do a video on how to do the fur. Because really, you got to be holding the saw a certain way and you got to be really careful. Um, as you guys can see, I've got knots in this log. And when you're doing the fur, well, I'll tell you, that bar wants to kick back right at you. And if you're not careful and if you're all loosey-goosey holding on the saw, that thing's going to bite you. And that's going to make for a real crappy day. So, yeah, maybe I will put up a video about doing fur. Let me know what you guys think. You know, if you want a video about that, comment below. Um, you know, just, just let me know. If you guys are looking for a little more detail on I don't know how I do something again comment below ask questions questions pertaining to the carving or the tools I'm using those are all okay ridiculous questions that have nothing to do with this I I'm not answering um, as always keep it clean you know my kids like to watch this so do other kids if it's not I'll boot you no big deal so anyway, as you guys can see, I've got the eyes here. Those will get cleaned up with the Dremel tool. I've got the mouth and the nose as well. Those are going to get cleaned up with the Dremel and the die grinders later on. But that's, that's basically it. Now, I'm still working on my fur pattern, on being able to do more chainsaw work with these claws. 
to make them, I don't know, less Dremel work. This is all stuff that I'm still practicing and trying to perfect. But as of now, this guy is ready for sanding. And uh, I think he looks pretty good. All right, everybody. So just a recap real quick. Um, this guy was carved with the steel MS-250, the steel MS-193, and the steel MS-170 with a dime tip bar. Um, the 250 did the blocking and a bunch of the big chunks, the blocking work. The 193 did some of the smaller blocking and started to really refine the shape of the bear. And the 170 cleaned up the mouth, cleaned up the snout, put a little bit of indentation here around the eyes, rounded the ears. Um, sometimes does the claws, not always, but it did all the fur work. Try to get you guys a little closer here so you can kind of, they're just angles. You're using the side of the bar for that. Um, the 170s also did the sign. I know I didn't do a video on that. Maybe that'll be something we do in the future. Hey, comment below. Do you want to see how to do it or not? Let me know. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it though. I want to thank you guys for watching as always. Thank you for your support. You know, this channel has been growing and growing and it's just, uh, it's really encouraging to see people, um, learning people just liking people here to just you know hang out and watch and just some of your fun comments and things it's just I really appreciate that I appreciate the encouragement um, I do have a website up you guys could see some finished products there some finished bears some finished furniture it is www.hallsstickfurniture.com be sure to go by there and uh, check out some of the work I have while you're there you'll find all my social media links um, links back here to YouTube, links to Instagram, links to my Etsy, Etsy page where you guys can make purchases for those of you who are just here to see cute bears, you can buy your own. Um, through those links you guys can also place orders if you're interested in something. And my response time's a little bit faster on some of that stuff. So anyway, listen, I thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Well, I was getting ready to upload the video and I had the bear all sanded. So I figured I'd shoot a quick little ending to the video so you guys could see what he looks like before paint. And this is it. I've got the eyes carved out. I used my saber tooth bits on a die grinder for that. Put some nostrils up there on his nose and just kind of refine the claws and the sign and stuff as well with those uh, saber tooth bits. But And here's that same bear all painted. He's now ready for some clear coat. I'm not going to video that part, but you guys get the idea. Just got done airbrushing the bear and the sign. Hand painting a little white in the eyes there. Kind of walk around here so you guys can see everything. Uh, that's it you know this guy's gonna sit outside here dry and then uh, I'll probably get a coat or two of clear and it'll be done <laughs>